Hey, Crew and Nikki. It is um, Thursday, February 6th. So, Nikki, you asked um, a bunch of questions, and uh, or actually, you did a video, which I appreciated your ducks video. Um, and uh, that was a good video. It had a lot of good content in it for six minutes. I was very impressed with the quality of your video. It was about to rain, and you said in Oregon, and then you corrected yourself, Western Oregon, before I could jump all over you, which I was going to do. So yesterday, the forecast, I got a warning. I was at rehearsal for South Pacific, and I got a warning on my phone for severe winter weather. I'm obviously outside. It's like 15, 17 degrees right now. But I just, with the help of Gareth, shoveled our walk, so I'm hot, and so I'm cooling down a little bit by going outside, and I'll get cold very soon, and then I'll go inside. But I want to make a quick video, because, Karu, you're so macho walking around in the cold all the time. Look how beautiful it is here. It's snowing. We're supposed to get a total of three to six inches between 10 o'clock this morning and 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Yeah, so we've obviously had some cold weather. We're having more cold weather. It's going to be colder over the next couple of days. Nikki, I, I went up and watched the Super Bowl at Sarah's mom's house. It, you know, it was, I don't know if you've read the Harry Potter books where um, Harry gets a good luck potion where he can drink it and he has the best, best of luck and Felix Felicis or whatever is what it's called. It was like the Seahawks had a Felix Felicis potion. I mean, every, Everything went their way. I mean, they, and they played really well. They deserved to win. There's no doubt. But you know that initial, the first play of the game, the the kickoff return for the touchdown in the second half. I mean, everything kind of broke their way. Um, and it's not like the Broncos played that badly. The thing that I was impressed about in the game was that um, the Seahawks defense didn't give up any big plays. Karu, thanks for sending me the link to um, NFL Rewind. I went back and I watched um, the condensed version of the Super Bowl and the two um, conference championship games. And it seems like the Broncos offense was a system. And they had a system and they didn't count. They don't really count on playmakers. They don't have a guy like Colin Kaepernick who can do something crazy and just break things up. And it seems like the Seahawks defense was perfectly designed for them because they made all the, they made the tackles, you know. They did pressure Manning, but it wasn't like a, a stunning amount of pressure on him. It was just enough. Um, they covered the receivers. They kept them tight. They didn't give up any big plays. And if you compare that to how they played against uh, the 49ers, when they gave up big plays to Kaepernick, basically. And Kaepernick running um, was the most, the only thing that kept the 49ers in that game. So, so I enjoyed watching the game, and, and, and I, I, could, um, re I can really uh, sympathize with Mike because um, you know, I'm a guy who likes to go back and rewatch stuff as well. And I do it with soccer a lot of times. You know, I'll, find a, I'll get a soccer game, and I'll go, and I have subscribed online to MLS. And if there's a good game that I like, I'll go back and rewatch it. I put up a video uh, this morning or last night, I can't remember which which was uh, the Landon Donovan's assist video again, and you don't have to watch it. I added his most recent assist, which was on Monday. Excuse me, last Saturday, the 1st. Um, so, um, yeah, I did that. I've been working on my, my stove and cooking apparatus for camping. Um, so what I did, actually, I wanted to make a stand for the pot to go on. And so I saw some videos online to create one, and I realized that basically you could divide the the radius of the upper uh, or the diameter, not the radius of the upper and the lower sections, and divide them into eight equal parts and make sections like this, and then tape it together, which is what I did here, and then from that make a pattern you could use. So I, I made this, I, I bought these uh, pan liners, and then I took one and cut it up and smoothed it out, and I made this uh, 
pot stand put the stove down like that but this pot has a little narrow section underneath so you can just slide that over there so I can slide it over like that fill it with water put it over this and and heat it which is all really cool and it worked and it boiled the water but you can see it actually I, I turned this around but it the flames came up out of these holes here and burned the cozy that goes around it. I, I, can, I like the heat exchanger on the bottom of this. I think it heats things up faster. It's kind of cool, but actually, Carew, I was thinking of using the, the tins that your coffee comes in. It would be a great little cook stove, uh, or cook well. The other thing is that this cracked here, and I didn't do anything with it. I just was putting it on and off the way it's supposed to be and I heard it snap when I was pulling it off one time. Uh, so this is supposed to be the cup you can drink out of. It's a one cup measure. It's, it seems, I don't know, I'm kind of disappointed in the quality of this. The other thing that I, I found is that I think my stove, this is the stove, and it cooks a little bit fast. I modified it actually a little bit since the last time I showed it to you, but um, I think it cooks a little hot and burns the alcohol too, too quickly. So I may make another one of those um, to try to remedy that. But anyway, I've been having fun working on this. The music thing that you talked about, music being important, you know, I didn't, I, frankly, I just mentioned that again a second time because I couldn't remember if I'd mentioned it the first time. Uh, it's not that big a deal to me. But one of the things is I've got a, a couple friends who majored in music as undergrads and then went on to grad school to get a master's degree. So like my friend Rob Edsel majored in music and then um, minored in geography and got a master's degree in meteorology and then a PhD in geography. And, um, and so, I mean, you can major in music and take um, other classes that will qualify you for a job, for other jobs. Um, but if, you, if all you take is music classes, you can be in trouble. Um, but if you major in music and you minor in, uh, you know, business or something, I mean, that would be awesome because, you know, you, you then you get, um, you know, you, you have skills that are applicable and marketable, but you spend a lot of time learning, to, learning music that, you, you know, it's, it's much harder to learn outside of that. And so that, that, was, that was my, my thing about music. You don't have to, I mean, what you major in in college, yeah, come on. Does that really matter and whether or not you get a job? I think most of the time it doesn't. By the way, Carew did not get into any medical schools. Um, so he's rethinking his life and Heavy Carew, Carew Halleck, you'd be happy to know that he's considering becoming a police officer. Maybe you wouldn't be happy. But uh, he, may, he may give you a call and talk to you about that. But um, he's looking for something else to do, which I think is awesome. Actually, I'm really glad because you know, I just had a bad feeling about med school. Um, for the past, uh, really for the past four or five months, I have not had a good feeling about him going to, to med school. I just felt like he wasn't happy with academia, he wasn't happy with being in school. And I think doing something practical, I think being a cop would be really a good plan for him in the short term. Um, and I like that better than him going to grad school. We're heading up to Pullman tomorrow to visit Brad and Linda and my mom and dad. And Tom, by the way, Tom has a tumor. It's in his bladder, and it's blocking his urethra, urethra, urethra. So he's been having urinary issues. He's been in and out of the hospital. It's not cancerous, but he's going to have to have some surgery to have it removed. Apparently, he's had incredible pain because of it. Um, but, um, yeah. So think of Tom and... Be thankful you're not him. And Tom, I know you watch these videos, so I'm thankful I'm not you. Yeah, that's a lot of rambling stuff. Um, I was trying to respond to your video, Nikki. Maybe I'll break this up into a number of smaller videos, um, but um, we'll see. Actually, I've been working on learning to play Psycho Killer. Uh, maybe I'll do that real quick, too, as another video. And I'm going to be uploading tons of videos today.